Alright, welcome back to GTA San Andreas with the riot sheets on. Let's get this horrible, horrible mission out of the way. Tonino's last shite, I mean flight. Carl, it's Woozy. I've got some information for you. Hey Woozy, what's the business? My man found that van you were looking for by the helipad downtown. And Torino? Yep, he's there. Apparently he's about to take some merchandise and cut up a helicopter. They've already started loading boxes. Something about Torino don't add up. Holla back if you hear something. Uh, if only I had a heat-seeking rocket launcher to bring the helicopter down much easier, but unfortunately, I think you have to uh, pick up the rocket launcher on the helipad to actually make the mission progress. I'm not 100% sure. I think that's how it works. We'll see. Well, I can't see. Cause I don't even have a heat-seeking rocket launcher. I can't see. See, the reason this mission is so piss annoying is because it's just so hard to hit the helicopter. Like I said, if I had a heat seeking rocket launcher, it would be much, much easier. Because I can't get one. It's annoying as anything. I might as well pick that up to get some more ammo. Right. Oh, that's great. Not. I really need transport. Preferably a motorbike because it's faster and easier. I don't think I'm going to get one now. Well, that'll do, I suppose. Oh, now, why do burning vehicles always stop next to the vehicles that I want? Because I'm just lucky that way. It's called Sod's Law. Don't you dare dick shit. And you. God almighty, what is going on? I just went the wrong way. Well, if I find a motorbike, such as that one right there. No, not that one right there. Not that one right there. Uh, every motorbike I do find is destroyed. Apart from that one. I'm gonna kill this guy. You'll just give me problems. Go! Right, we're going the right way now. Without hitting that uh, barrier or getting hit by a rocket. So, again, if I had a. Oh, for fuck's sake, knob, cheese! My bike's gonna get destroyed now. Because that car is destroyed. It blew up right next to it, I'm sure. Or did it? Thank God it didn't. Right. Helicopter's still there. See, it stops, but only for like five seconds when it gets to the end of the freeway. And then it starts moving again. Which is why it would be much easier if I had a heat-seeking rocket launcher to bring it down instead. But no! Would you get your license? The museum? I remember I had uh, a lot of uh, trouble with this mission on the uh, Xbox version recently. Oi! Get away! I've got to get away from the helicopter as well. Before it lands on top of my head. I might be able to get it from here, actually. Just a few lucky shots might work. Doesn't hurt to try, you know? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my god. Start again. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, come on. Right. If you knew it was going to happen, why did you do it then? I don't know. I panic. People always do crazy things when they play this game. Right. Um, I'll take that. Careful. I 
I'm having no, I want the bike. Give me the bike. Oh, Tonino's last flight is a pile of shite. Seriously. I hate it with all my might, you piece of shite. Please, no more rhymes. Wasn't me. Can I shoot it down from here. Give it a try. <laughs> Very surprised I do get it. Of course not. <laughs> I am speechless. I can't fucking believe I did that. There was me just firing at it blindly. And I said, there's no way I'll hit it from here anyway. And I did. That has got to be the best moment in any of my playthroughs ever. Wow. Hey Caesar, the yay leaving San Fierro, right? Nope. Two wrongs don't make a right, but three lefts do. And where'd I put that bike? Right there. So I'm just I'm just so uh, speechless after what happened in that previous mission. Fucking hell. No. Yeah, we might as well save up there. My new safe house. I was wondering what all the explosions were after I was after I fired the rocket launcher, but I'm pretty sure I only fired two rockets, and I heard, I definitely heard more than more than two explosions. That's for sure. And then mission complete popped up on the screen. Wow, amazing. You know. I'm going to take my chances with this. We won't save. And don't worry, I will... I will play. I will play some uh, of the cutscenes. Okay, so let's all just talk a bit. Some small-time Vietnamese gangs have been making trouble lately. We're not sure why they're gaining any courage now, but... I'm nervous about the situation. This is a place. Come on, it's this way. Just waiting for Woozy. As long as Woozy doesn't get killed by pedestrians, I'll be happy. Luckily, I think the pedestrians in here are all unarmed. Yeah. Hey, what's with all these people? Where are they going? Something isn't right here. We should be careful. Do I have to stay close to Boozy or can I go a little further ahead? No, I guess I gotta wait for it. Oh, here again. It's been a while, don't worry. Here. This way. Strange, this gate is usually locked. Stick close. Yeah, I will play some of the cutscenes. Specifically some ones with Woozy and Ken Paul the Marker. Woozy. What's got you so spooked? Oh oh sorry. Didn't see you lying down there. He's dead. They all are. The blood feathers wiped out? Die, die low. Uh, forgive me. I was too scared to fight, so I hid. Enough. What happened here? Vietnamese surprised us. Cut us all down. Shit! Here they come again! What's your problem? <laughs> Someone shitting your cornflakes this morning. Hey, you want some of this? The triads hey. must have vengeance. Oh, come on, go away. You're not helping. Well. At least I get a submachine gun back. I would like my SMG though, the MP5. So in this mission, a member of the Bloodfeather Triads didn't show up at a recent Triad meeting. 
Woozy wants to see why. And it's because of the Vietnamese gang, the Da Nang boys, who I mentioned previously. Is Woozy coming? Hopefully they'll come with me uh, at the end of this alleyway. There's a sniper up there, watch out. There's no escape, and that's for sure. This is the end. We don't take any more. Ah, oh, good, he does spawn. That's fine. We got more company. Don't get killed here, we're going to be back on the streets with the rioters. Fuck. Watch out for that tram. Fucking hell. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't tell me I killed them both. No. Good, I didn't. Okay, run. Where is he? Okay, go, go. Get out of the way. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. You saved me from having to kill them all myself. Okay, let's get back to my place. We're not there yet. I know it's just around the corner, but we're not there yet. A stray rocket could jump out any time. <coughs> yes. Token of the Tog's appreciation for what you did today. Oh my word. And now we save. Whoa! How did that not blow me up? Who the fuck cares? Not I. Whoa. Now we save. Next mission is Ranfali. Where we meet Ranfali, or Farley, who is the leader of the Red Gecko Tong. And tell you what. I'll put that car in my garage. Oh no, I can't. Thanks a lot. So in the mission Ranfali. We have to get a car back from the Da Nang boys. It's been stored at the airport. And in the next mission, Lure, the Da Nang boys are on to Ran Fali. As soon as he steps out of the building, the Da Nang boys will gun him down. So I have to act as a decoy and lure them away from Chinatown. Now, can we get to Woozy's betting shop in one piece? Ah, probably not. It doesn't hurt to try. Well, actually, it's hurting CJ right now to try. Look at it. Oops. Ooh, sorry about that. Yep, oops, you fell off. The idea is to hold on, Mr. Copper. Right. We find you funny. Oh, wait, that was, that's actually the... The cutscene for the next mission, lure. Why don't we just lure them out into the baking sun and cap their flat asses? No offence. We find you funny. Right, so off to the airport, and on the way I'll grab that body armour. Not that I'll need it. This is quite a long mission. I mean, I have to uh, get the car from the airport and take it all the way up to, like, Esplanade North or something. Probably get killed on the way. I think the word definitely should be used instead of probably. Oh. Yeah, that's a good idea. Go over here instead. Without falling into the water like last time. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, bloody hell. Not now. Not now. Right. Oh, God. What is this? The entire motorcycle division. Looks kind of like it. That was close. Don't want to get busted at this stage. Getting the car to the destination is going to be no piece of pie. Quack. <laughs> Can you fly, Bobby? Oh, fuck. That's not the right way to go. Shut your mouth. Right, I'm not going to say quack in this playthrough anymore. No. Not anymore. Nope. I've said it far too often. Mm -mm. 
Bloody hell. Where'd that come from? Oh, what are these motorcycle cops doing down here? Looking for me, probably. They'd better not give me hassle. I've got enough of the rioters, obviously. Is this a manana? Yeah. Let's all go down the strand, have a manana. Worst ambush ever. And you boys couldn't shoot a barn door. This mission reminds me of uh, the mission from Driver 2 called Kane's Compound. That was the game I used to play all the time back in the day. You won't get far. We shall see! Mm, lucky bastard. Yeah, Driver and Driver 2. Those were the games I came home to after school. They're just motorbikes. Haha! <laughs> ah, you have to take the safe routes, don't you? You're not programmed to take uh, dirt tracks, are you? You're not programmed to go off-road. I no have your shirt. You yes have my shirt. This is precarious. I can't take the train tracks forever. Only take them for about thirty seconds. I wonder, does uh, hiding your view briefly, like I've seen in the speedrunning videos, stop things from spawning in front of you? I know it certainly does in GTA 3 and Vice City. I'm not sure about this game because the uh, spawn system in this game is a bit different. Nah, not really. That was too close. Um. Oh god. Oh no! I forgot that's not solid. Jesus. Go away. Th oh! Fuck. <laughs> Thank you. I owe that guy my life. Fucking hell. Oh, come on, drive. This is not good. I don't like it here, it's too narrow. Let's get down there onto the really wide bit. And pray there's no rockets down here. Okay, it's nice and wide. Stay in the middle, away from the road. Um, Barcedero, anyone? Where are all the pedestrians? Not that I care. But there are Danang boys right at the end, though. I would like to know why. Of course, if this was a driver, it would say, lose the tail. Uh, those were the days. Get to your destination before the time runs out, and don't bring the cops. If you do, you have to lose them. I remember uh, talking about uh, Driver at school and college. I asked a few of my classmates, "Did you ever play Driver One?" And they said, "No, because I couldn't get, I couldn't get past the first mission." <laughs> yeah, the mission in the uh, underground car park. We have to do the job interview. I must say, it, it did take me a while to get past it until I found a guide. I bought a, a cheats magazine. Pardon me. Oh! Right, the next mission is Lure and it's long and annoying. And this is long and annoying as well. I should have gone from the other side. Shortest phone call in the entire GTA series ever. Unfortunately, I just skipped it because. Go away! Right, hold on. Big! Catalina, is that you again? I swear I did not skip that cutscene. Cutscene? Phone call, even. Right. What happens if I enter my safe house and I'm on fire? The 
fire mysteriously goes out. Right, next up is Lure. 